this was like an eye opener for me when I figured this out. And, you know, just like in the maid service, I'd wake up every day, I'd get in these Facebook groups, I'd, I'd talk to other business owners, what are you guys doing? How is this working? Um, you know, any tips on your policies and procedures manual, things like that. I, I do the same for marketing. So I'm digging in, I'm talking with other marketers, I'm watching videos, and, and I'm constantly educating myself. And, and when I when I figured this out, it like a, a light bulb went off and I'm like, oh my gosh, tangible numbers to what I'm doing. Like, you know, you're just saying, hey, I'm marketing. And what does that mean? I'm trying to get more business to grow my business. But how much business are you trying to get? How many customers do you need? How many people are available to purchase your services in your area? So start with numbers and set a realistic expectation. So you can use uh, Wikipedia or census.gov and you can, uh, you can look in your market and get an idea of how many people. And I'll tell you the percentage that you got to look for here. So this will at least give you something to start with. Just like your policies and procedures manual, you will also be working and updating this number as new data comes because some of this data could be two years old and you know that your area or your city has grown. So, so it's probably more than what, what's reported. Um, but at least it'll give you a good starting point. You'll have something tangible. So for Lapeer County, that's, that's where I live. That's where I started my maid service. I wish I'd have known this seven years ago. I would have started it somewhere else initially, but, um, Let's say you have a population of 160,000 like we have here in Lapeer County. For the cleaning industry, 10% of the, that market is, you, is going to use a cleaning service. So 10% of 160,000 people. So wh what's that tell me? So I, I've got 16,000 customers that could potentially be mine. And that, that may seem, I don't know if that seems like a big number to you, but in, in reality, that's teeny. This is a micro market. This is one of those itsy bitsy small markets that nobody even tries to get into because it's, there's just not enough volume there. Um, however, there is enough volume there. Um, it's going to take you longer because there aren't the masses looking for the service in the area. And it may even take some local branding, but... Um, but you can still get there because this actually supports about $2.5 million cleaning services. So, so two and a half, $1 million cleaning services is, could service this area. 1600 is in a large market, like I said, but it only takes 300 reoccurring clients to hit that $1 million mark in revenue. So 300 customers using your service, reoccurring, you're hitting 1 million in revenue. I know a large portion of that's going to be one times and, you know, you really should have a, a system in place to work those into reoccurring. And if you're working hard on that quality and you're training those technicians and your service is really wowing those customers, it sure makes it easier to convert one time into recurring. So 300 is that mark, give or take, you know, it really depends on your pricing, your market, but, but, you know, you can definitely use that. So in this example, say 50% of those are one time, 50% are recurring in the population with 160 K can support two and a half separate $1 million cleaning companies. So you now have 800 people looking for recurring and 800 people looking for one time cleaning companies. These are guesstimates, you know, uh, you can kind of tell when you answer the phone, how many people want recurring, how many people want one time. I know a lot of times the one time people say they want one time, but they really want recurring, but they're just testing your services to see how good you are. And then here's a little tip that I have for you. You can get a deeper look inside of the statistics to look at how many home sales are out there each month. And then you can calculate what your target market is for move in and move out cleanings and how you're going to address that one.